good. Yeah, I'm gonna eat that. I'm sorry, girl. No, I, yeah, I usually hold it though. That's my kill. You know why you know you're an Israelite? I've been listening to this stuff on the internet for a long time. I'm just trying to figure out. You don't know. What is you watching on the internet? Um, them just talking about the different sides and saying that we were. But I, I just, you know. Where are you learning from? You know the scripture says, things that lead thee, lead thee to error. Error means going off. Wrong. You know what I'm saying? And these women are the ones that's in the Head of our nation. It's not because they're stronger, it's because they're not. It's not because they're wiser, it's because they're not. It's because the devil got them in control. The devil gave them what you call a freedom, a liberty, to do what they want. Okay? That's why they y'all can get on the phone and call 911. So that 911 is y'all actual God. Okay, that's where y'all get your power from. Hey, but she has to put uh, you back up. Oh yeah, because she was going into a, uh, she had a question about Israel. She said she's a... Uh, she's an Israelite. Right, that's what I say. What, what, what you say. Why do you say that? Because you're, the, the most high already named every nationality, every nation on earth, right? You can't rename your nationality. You can if you want. But the truth is, we already have a nationality that the Lord already named us. Okay? So you know We're the, not niggas. You know the one they call Jesus? You know he's a black man, right? Look, I'll prove it. Actually, look at this. He said he had hair like wool. Yeah, he got woolly hair. Skin color like Yeah, that's right. But uh, like, wait, here's more proof if you read the Song of Solomon. I'm not prepared for that. Song of Solomon, one of five. Like, I mean, this is clear right here. It says, I am black. This is, this is what Solomon wrote this. You know who King Solomon is? He's the son of King David, right? right. He's an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Okay? He said, I am black, but commonly all you daughters of Jerusalem as a tent to Kedar, as a curtain to Solomon. Even though that word right there, Kedar, means dark skin. But, uh, that's proof right there. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, I get that revelation you know them so-called Jews in the state of Israel, they claim that they're the real Israelites. You know what I'm saying? But we know according to the scriptures, they're not, they're not a real Israelite. Because originally all the Israelites were those dark-skinned people. I know thou works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. See, I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews and are not. Go ahead. We're all the synagogue of Satan. They, they, they the synagogue of Satan. Don't they meet up in the synagogue? Oh, they synagogue just got shot up. You see that? And they're going to use that, too, to come after us. Because uh, if you... Because anytime you talk bad about one of the fake Jews, they're going to come out and delete your YouTube channel. They always delete my channel. You know what I'm saying? I'm not watching you. Watching a whole bunch of stuff on YouTube. It's about the Israelites and who are the real Israelites. And they're just saying that the people that claim to be Israelites aren't. So, it's just... I can't even The Lord chose the people of the nation of Israel. You know, the Lord only came to save the, the one they called Jesus. He only came to save Israel. 
Bible days, you know about that? You got a Bible? You gotta get you a Bible. So you, get, you get one on your phone. You get one on your phone. I don't trust the Bible on your phone. Why not? It just makes me feel like I didn't give a sign. Well, don't worry about that. Because you know what? The Lord gave us this technology before. Actually, them phone Bibles are amazing. You can do word searches. You can do... That's a good tool, actually. It's yeah. the Lord's technology. Yeah. He gave us this technology. This white man didn't invent this technology. Actually, the internet was invented by a black man anyway. Yeah. All of them. Just, you know, just, just pick up that retard again. This, yeah, this wisdom, this, this, net, this, this technology is for you to grow. You notice everybody, the majority of the people use it for Born, stupid no shit. One. Just name it, just stupid shit. So, you know, it's for, this also is for a stumbling block for those that are, ain't seeking the truth. This, this technology, you know? Yeah. It's to further lead them into darkness. And Bible apps, is a, I'm telling you, that's a real good study tool. You can study the Hebrew, the Greek, all that. You see that thing that came out with the feds? They caught a bunch of feds. They, they visited like 9,000 porn sites. Why are they at work? Yeah. This is crazy. Are you serious? That's yeah. all people use yeah. their phones for is Facebook and porn. Right. That's it. Posting your business. Posting yeah, your Instagram. Business. Just posting a thousand selfies a day. You know what I mean? A bunch of narcissistic people. What's good with you, bro? Uh, yeah. You, try, you trying to join the camp now? Yeah. How am I the devil? Yeah, because you, 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 don't, you don't accept the truth. Yeah. What, get, get, get Matthew 13, you know, he better understand it. Yeah, because I mean, this is all by words. Like, there's no people called black There's no people called black people. In the scriptures, there's no people like you can't look in the Bible and see Mexican or American. You know what I'm saying? Because really, everybody got an original lineage going back thousands and thousands of years. Now, over the years, people got scattered, mingled together, and they start changing their names. Like when you're reading the scriptures, they tell, uh, read about the Greeks in the scriptures. Paul was teaching those Greeks. But those are actually Israelites. You know what I'm saying? What you got? No, go ahead, man. Go ahead. Uh, whatever you got. Now you just listen to his talk. You're going to learn all kind of stuff. Let me read this. This is what you're talking about, what he's explaining to you. This is uh, Deuteronomy uh, 15 and 26, 27. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither the Lord shall lead you. This is yeah. just a precept. Yeah, Israel got scattered among all the nations for our punishment. Because, uh, what word you at right there? Oh, yeah, well, you know, folks, we hard headed. We're a hard headed nation. We don't like to listen. We hate the following structure. Yeah. We hate order. We love disorder. Yeah. You know, we're the two thirds of our people. The majority of our people that's, love disorder. They love okay. chaos. They love madness. Right. Right. They love wickedness. So, for the punishment for our wickedness of our fathers, which we are mothers and our fathers because reincarnation, the Lord has punished us. And by punishing us, He got us living amongst those filthy ass heathen nations. No. And like what's coming up today, uh, Halloween, oh, that's oh. coming up. That's like one of them customs of the heathen. Because we said, we went a horn after those other gods in the other nations. We wasn't supposed to follow. That's another reason why we got punished. Celebrating Halloween. You know that's some devil worship, right? That, go, that goes back to the uh, festival of Sam Hay. It, it was all about uh, human sacrifice, child sacrifice. They would even sacrifice their king. It's big amongst our people, even still. Even now. It's big. But that's one of the reasons we got punished. That's why we live in this filth out here. We all broke, we never got shit. That made me not want to tell them. Yeah, fuck all them holidays. You mean they sacrifice I mean, that's just a low level form of sacrifice without the actual death. But hey, that physical, that mental death is the same as physical anyway. Yeah, because you, you're using all your children's energy. And you putting their energy, it's really a ritual. That trick or treat, that's a ritual. They putting all that all that energy, all the people coming together, doing the same thing together, that's a ritual. And you put energy into a demonic ritual. People don't realize that all this is fun, you getting candy. And at the same time too, don't don't you always teach your children never take candy from strangers? But on Halloween, you take candy from all the strangers. Oh, they give faith in the, the, the devil. And hey, there's some weirdos out here. Trust I don't let my children do that, you know what I mean? That's scary. Hey, you might get some fentanyl, lace candy, you know? 
might get some cone candy. That's why yeah, so. you're telling me about going to Some jizz candy. If you want some candy, we go right to Kroger, you know? That's right. We get a, we get a bag, we get bags up. That's funny, though. Brothers out here. Well, let me tell you something. It's the, it's the brothers that need to wake the hell up. Yep. Okay? They the ones that need to wake the hell up. I mean, you can, we are on YouTube. Uh, you can look up Woe to the Wicked. All one word. Well, you can, if you can remember that. We out here on Mondays. Lord willing. Yeah. And she was amazed. I never, I don't pay attention to it. That old loud ass bullshit over there, bro. Fuck that goddamn soft break. They do it, it's still important. I just said, I'm gonna find what they scored. I'm gonna put the Halloween motherfucking dress up in the demon. Goblin. Wearing upside down pentagrams and shit. Uh, what a YouTube channel is, whoa. You know, well, like W O E, woe unto the wicked. That's where these street videos go up on. Right. You'll see our picture. Oh, okay. About 12. She's talking to you. She's going to look nice and she get over. Her mom seems cool, though, you know? Yeah. Oh, you know she's wicked as all hell. She's trying to find a way to gang, you know. Try to get some stuff. Grandmother taught him frog. Frog? I forgot what it means. Um. <laughs> I was like, whoa. I was like, bro, you got the truth. He's like, yeah. I was like, what's the truth? Frog. 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 And he was serious, too. But wow. gran Grandma, she got all the wisdom. That's what people always think. Grandma know everything. Yeah. Grandma got all the secrets and all the knowledge. She got, I don't think grandma know how to do is feed your ass some pork. Teach you, teach you to love the Edomite Jesus. Grandma. Teach you, she the one to get to decorate the house with Halloween decorations. You know what I mean? She putting little goblins and ghouls all through the house, trick or treat, passing out candy. This is the scripture I gave you. Isaiah 3 and 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. Oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy Yeah, so these women, everybody try to go to their grand. How many times you heard that? Teaching fraud. Oh, I know the Bible. My, grand, my grandma taught me the Bible. Let's talk. Let's talk. Grandma. These women don't even know how to wash their ass. How in the hell are they going to teach you about the Lord? <laughs> you know, Grandma don't know no Hebrew. She don't know nothing. Grandma don't be sitting studying. You ever met a grandma that knew about history? You ever talked to any grandma ever about history? Oh, yeah, the civil rights movement of Martin Luther King. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, she'll teach you that MLK was a man of the Lord. She got a picture of him on one of them uh, plates up on the mantle. You know how to be having a commemorative plate? Number number five out of three hundred. That's crazy, man. Some bitch gave me one of them for shit to my mom's MLK. I was mad as fuck that bitch gave me that. A fucking expensive ass plaque of Martin Luther King. Should have threw it up in it. It sat on a fucking 
It was fancy as hell. It sat on the thing. A little stink. It was nice. It was actually, actually nice. Probably could have sold it on eBay. I, well, man, I ain't want that shit. Yeah, that you throw it up in the air and hit, shoot it with a shotgun. My spirit just sunk in me, man. My stomach just... I was like, here, mom. Remember their place. Oh, thank you, honey. <laughs> Go ahead. It's Joe 39. It, uh, uh, shit, forgot to read that. About uh, 17. It says, I'm sorry, 16. It says, she is hardened against her young ones as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear because God has deprived her of, of, of wisdom. Neither have he imparted to her of understanding. Yeah, these women, they got no wisdom or understanding. Cause though, you know, the scriptures say study to show thyself approved. Most women, they're not gonna be studying at all, especially grandma. Only thing, she gonna be studying like a cookbook on how to make some biscuits and gravy or something, how to make a cake. That's her studying. Hey, that grandma don't know nothing, bro. Grandma taught me the Bible. But grandma taught you wrong. Like, that's true though. You go into every uh, every grandma's house. <laughs> Your mom, grandma always got Ten Commandments on the wall. Ten Commandments on the bathroom. Got little prayers everywhere. You know how they do it. They ain't following the Ten Commandments. Yeah, Bible. we got that big ass Bible. You know them big old holy Bible with like gold embroidered oh, pages. That's, that's furniture. Yeah, that's furniture. <laughs> That's decoration. Go through there, go through there, because you know them women got that, that cable they can record shows in their home. You go through it, all that's recorded is fucking, the, this is money, so the soaps is on. Yeah, soaps. Soaps and uh, whatever dumbass reality shows. The soaps, that's Netflix. the young and the restless. The bold and the beautiful. <laughs> that's some bullshit. That's some crazy shit, man. They eat that shit up. <laughs> they, it's gone. They in a, they won't even watch the History Channel. That's what Grandma's doing right now. Look what time it is. The show is on still. I don't know how you can watch that bullshit. You, know, you got to understand the mind of a woman. I don't understand it. Right. I do, not understand. I do understand it. You know? I understand it's madness. It's stupid. That's where madness was. Proverbs 9 and 13. A foolish woman clamorous. Oh, yeah. You know my scripture. <laughs> A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knows nothing. Oh, yeah, a foolish woman is clamorous. Yeah, they loud as hell too. Loud, proud. She is simple and knows nothing. That's what the scripture says. A bird brain bitch. That's what we call them. Hey, that's the other scripture too. They got women that are more, you know, there are very few women that. That can actually shut, shut the fuck up and learn and, yeah, humble, yeah. and humble themselves, you know? We ain't talking about y'all, obviously. There's two of them. Uh, y'all ones that just got to oh, man. The loud mouths, the ones that know it all. Oh, the ones I hate the most of them, the strong ones. Oh, my God. <laughs> the strong ones, the mighty ones and shit. The, the liberal woman. Ooh. What's that scripture talking about, the liberal woman? The, uh, in that Isaiah? What's that talking about? Isaiah. That you, uh, rise up, you women at ease. Uh, I think that go into the liberal woman. 32. Yeah. I think it don't say that. Rise up, you women that are Hey, we're going to be out here. Rise up, you women. Hey, women ain't rising up. That's your one girl over there came up here. She's one of those one righteous women. You know, the best thing these bitches can do is, is uh, wake up. That's all they can, that's the best a woman can do is just wake the fuck up. You know? Like you said, go get the men, have yeah. us teach them. You're waking the fuck up, you, they come back to reality. Yeah. You cover their head, wear righteous garments, shut the fuck up, get off the street, stop opening your legs to every stranger, just wake the fuck up. Anybody ask these bitches about what they Oh, hell no. Like IUIC, oh, like in Cleveland. Oh, yeah. Motherfucking group of Israelites in Cleveland oh, had a shit. bitch out there. She teach it? Hell yeah! Damn it. Had a bitch out there, man. Did y'all talk to her? Give more help. Uh oh. It was starting to rain. It was trying to get you covered. It looked like they was packing up and leave anyway. How you gonna have, how you gonna how you gonna call yourself an Israelite? Talking about you an expert on the Bible and got a woman teaching. Well I saw uh Nate's crew up north had a bitch with them too. 
a big fat bitch. A fine ass big bitch too. I ain't gonna lie, man, that bitch was beautiful. <laughs> she was, man, she was beautiful. And that's why that that's probably why the motherfuckers all humbled in front of her, like scared of her beauty, man, you know. Well, bitch was, that bitch is walking up and down the line like giving they, orders. You know they was all fighting to see who's gonna hit it. Whoa. I bet both of them. They, they, he, she hit him. <laughs> I bet you she fuck a multiple motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah you know, they all kind of adultery in them big ass groups like IUIC. You saw them that looks like a prison bus. That's what, looks, that's what I thought it was at first. Now, but that, that was, I don't know what that is. I'm ready for that, uh, that midterm. It might be doing some kind of tour. I'm ready for that midterm. Yeah, that midterm election. They going crazy over that election. Hopefully, hopefully there'll be some bloodshed. Hopefully. It's good to stay optimistic. What you got? Uh, 32 and 9. It's so loud says, shit out rise, here. Uh, rise up, you women that are at ease. Hear my voice, you careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vengeance shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Oh yeah, the vengeance shall fail. That's why he, look at these hoes, they looking all raggedy out here. As that vintage done fail, you know? The bitches can't grow hair, they got rope hanging from their head. Look like some shit I used to go uh, tie knots with or something, you know? It says, tremble ye women that are at ease, be troubled ye careless ones, strip you and make you better, and girl sack up upon your loins. Oh, they're not gonna do that. Vintage. Uh, I seen that video like wow, a couple months ago. I think uh, actually when uh, Trump became president, she was a uh, bitch. She put, uh, she put uh, uh, a comment, whatever, post, whatever. She said, uh, "We need y'all, man." Mm -hmm. I can't remember how she went, but she, "We need y'all, man," whatever. This shit's falling apart. I forgot how she said it. You know, what I'm saying she pretty much pleaded to the man. What's gonna happen? When I mean, the shit is the man, they gonna, they gonna, they gonna uh, be independent in that day. Hell no. They independent right now. They, they say they're independent, independent, but they're not. They look, they got. Uh, uh, what is that shit called? Government assistance? What is that shit called? Uh, EBT? Uh, yeah, that shit. There are nowhere near independent. Oh, no, yeah, you go to the grocery store, the woman, she got a shopping cart full of food. Because she, she got the EBT. We all pay, pay with cash. We got like five items. Man, that's some bullshit, bro. All these, if you go try to get EBT, they're not going to give it to you. Yeah, then they sell their food stamps. Who's the cleaning? Before, uh, before you uh, moved to Chicago, me and the brother thought like, now we in the store and the bitch, she was working there. The bitch ghetto as hell. I got the food there for sale. You want some? <laughs> At the store? Yeah, she wow. was she was the cash, uh, cash or whatever the fuck's called. Hey, hey, Trump is right, bro. There's a lot of fraud going on. I hope he cuts that shit off. Oh, yeah, they cuts it off. I hope y'all get locked up for that fraud. Yeah, uh, uh, Israelite guards, yeah, Israelite, you know, Israelite's <laughs> running for fucking. Yeah. It was an actual stripper bar. They got busted for uh, 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 accepting food stamps. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> they taking food stamps at a bar. I was a child. This was just last week. I was amazed, man, when I heard that shit. I was tripping. There's no end. Yep. I mean, they, Trump was bullshitting, actually. He should have been cut that shit off. It's coming, man. That's that vengeance. He's not keeping up his promises. That's that vengeance or something, man. That's the safety net. That's a safety net, net too, because without that, them bitches will starve. Just like I explained it to the bitch, man. So I explained it to that hoe, man. The air, the air, the waves, you know, these women leave this shit. Ain't there another part to that, though? That, uh, I think, I think if you continue, it says something about delivery. It says delivery right here. You sure it don't say that? Yeah. Let me see that real quick. Struggle continues. Man, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Actually, that's y'all on YouTube. Straight up, which channel? Yeah. I was good. Yeah, I talked to you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. what's good with you? Yeah. It's all Glad to see y'all finally out here. So. Well, we always out here. We yeah. never missed a day. We, yeah, we usually out here on Mondays. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, so we probably right. we come out here. We don't we don't miss. Yeah. We don't wake up with a headache. I can't I call a girl. I can't make it. <laughs> Hey, that's funny though. Everything.
Now we had a dude in our camp with that's funny though. Right, right, right. Years ago, he's like, I can't make it today. I got a headache. Sam, we got a cookout. Oh, everybody getting together. Yeah. Just making new food. See, motherfucking Israelites always looking for excuses not to do the world's work. Always looking for excuses, man. That's true. Columbus is full of those niggas with those with nothing but excuses. Like, so we don't need nobody like that. Bro, like a, everybody come out talking about they know they're Israelite. Like, well, why, why did you change that? Like, we ain't got to do nothing but yeah. give the truth. But you, you know, know, but you know what? I, what I've been doing lately is I've been coming out here. No one has a clue what's going on. Right. Yeah. Yes. Damn it. Damn that shit keep dying, bro. Right, right, right. That's Satan in the fucking And, uh, Mom, like, I got into the word for uh, uh, the last few months. The truth you talking about? Yeah, the truth. Find out you're a Hebrew Israelite? Like yes. Okay. And that so called, right, Jesus, that's a lie. Exactly. And that was brainwashing us. Exactly. It was beat out of us on here. That's right. That's right. And Might be so I told eight. What y'all looking for, man? Oh, I just, uh, go ahead. I got it. I'm so my mom and dad, right? They're from Mississippi. Okay. Okay. My hey, mom's from Utica. We're from my dad's from Jackson. And so I told my mom, you know, it says in scripture the earth was given to the wicked. Right. Oh, you run the the devil. That's who the wicked is. Right. But that's how you run everything. Right. So so called white man. So called trip. So called. Right. Because there ain't no such thing. No, it is. So I put. I know it's keep on going. Okay, keep going, man. So I put it on my mom, okay, and I said, what's your nationality? Right. You know, black African American. Uh-oh. Okay. That's what our oppressor said. What was that found in? So-called black and so-called white. That wasn't found in until, because I did my own history. That was found in 1681. Right. What's that? African American? African American. Right. Right. And that was also under white supremacy. Right. To break up the to have them be up here, and then the lower class would go down here. So that was all founded in 1680. So my mom was just shocked. The way I was coming at her and so stuff, just doing my own research. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then so I told her. That was also, Not that's also true. true, but that's also <laughs> prophecy as well. That was in the scriptures too, that we were gonna hate each other. Right. Yep. You know, right. I could come down here in fucking downtown Columbus, and you know, you say a hi to one of your brothers and stuff, what's good? Like, why are you giving you the EY? That's also in scripture. Yeah. Yeah. So did your mom accept what you told her? Yeah, no. Yeah. But I just put certain things out there to have her look it up her own stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're just going into that. We're just going into grandma and mom. Yeah, but you ain't, don't challenge your mom. Yeah, you can't. Don't challenge your mom. You can get yeah, to her. That's yeah. it. That's it. Yeah. Okay, accept it or not, that's it. That's it. You know what I mean? But you know what? But you, you got, your, your key should be on the men. The dad or the brother. The uncle. I'm having a hard time with them. It don't matter. Hey, I no, I know, no. I, I know, but he has a Becky. Right. What's a Becky? White woman? Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That Becky might be a check. Yep. If, um, with her, I uh, uh, Where's she from? Uh, I don't know. Like I said, she might be a check too. Huh? Because some of these white people are Israelites. No, that's true. But see, but that's where a lot of people get wrong, though. Because some people think, oh, you have to be, it's all a color thing. It's not all a color thing. Well, check thing, it out. It goes by the scene of the it's, it's, it's not your business to work with. It, it, it's not your business who he laying with. That's true, okay? That's true. So don't worry about who you blame. That's true. Okay? Just worry about him receiving the truth or, or not receiving. Just, you know, just focus on him. Give him whatever truth you know. I, I fuck with my brother every time I go. He says, I'm, yeah, you don't remember my brother Luke, have you? He's crazy. But he's trying to say I'm crazy. I'm constantly trolling his ass with the truth, you know? <laughs> okay. And it drives me crazy. Yeah, vexes. The yeah. truth vexes. The truth it vexes. vexes him, right? Yeah. Constantly getting on it. That's my brother, you know what I mean? Yeah. But like my mom, I don't tell my mom nothing. You know? I try to tell her something once, she, th she thought I lost my mind. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got a mom that, I do it out of, out of, out of, out of fun mm -hmm. for me. 
I laugh at my mom because she when I'm talking to her, just talking, hey, conversation. She yeah. acts like she knows her. She's like, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's you know, that's how yeah. she talks. Like she already knows. Yeah. I mean, their thing is they want to make they want to make themselves uh, equal to, them, right. to a man. You know, it's really about the men out here. That's what it's all about. That's it. That's our focus. These women right. are totally irrelevant. I like it. you got you got a woman. You like married or anything? No. Uh, Cause that's a quick way to end a marriage is to start teaching your woman. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's, that's also because they eat so Oh yeah, that's Esau, definitely the reason. Esau is the one that put the women up here. Check this out. That's a mistake a lot of brothers make is they try to give too much to the woman. Right. And it ends up ruining their marriage. Right. Revelation 21 and 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, The tabernacle of the Most High is with men. That's a spirit too. Uh oh. <laughs> that was nasty. Shoot him himself. But he's going to deal with men. And he might deal with women in the way of humbling herself, like we were just talking about. Humbling herself. Right. If she got a husband, she'll, she'll take orders from her husband. Because these women, they hate somebody telling them what to do. You know what right. I mean? Me, I, I'm no, I've been known to smack the shit out of a woman. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Literally, I've been known to smack the living shit out of these people. Like Chris Brown out here. You know, I check my woman, man, but the Lord is with that. Right. If you got a line, like I said, the most I deal with most people his own way. You know what right. I mean? You know, but like I said, that woman should cover herself up. You know what right. I mean? She'll stop coming out of this verbally as much as she can. It's pretty cracked me up when a demon jump on my wife. It's kind of funny. <laughs> But you know what, man? It's crazy though because there, is, there literally is their spirit type. Demons, yeah. yeah. But you know what? <laughs> there are certain things that I would see. What's that movie? Did you you watch it? Oh, that Fallen. Yeah, the Fallen. That, that's a Zazel. That's some bad shit, man. That's some, you ever seen Fallen? No. Oh, Did you watch it? You gotta watch Fallen and know what we're talking about. Yeah, that's a good movie. Seriously, okay. make that some homework. Watch the movie Fallen. It's okay. a Denzel movie, man. Okay. It's a Denzel movie, man. You're gonna love the movie anyway. Because you know Denzel. Denzel. It's Denzel. Okay. It's falling. How old are you, man? You know black man. You're in your 30s? Yeah. Okay. 37. Okay. 37. I'm surprised you haven't seen that, man. No. I'm surprised. I don't really watch. You know, I really don't watch a lot of TV. I mean, it's older than me. I don't know. Like 90s, maybe? I don't really watch a lot of movies now, nowadays. I feel, I feel like I don't need to. I mean, every once in a while, later on, I don't watch I'm a YouTuber. I went, to the, on YouTube all day. I went to a couple weeks ago, I went to the drive in and watched Halloween. Now, actually, I, I, I fucked with Halloween, the new one. Yeah, I went to the drive in, down the street. Oh, you already seen it? Yeah, yeah. The drive in? The drive in. South High? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. A couple weeks, two weeks ago. Was it, was it lit out there? Was it barbecue and shit out there? No, they didn't barbecue, though. Uh, but the thing came across, though, though. Clean up after barbecue. I ain't been out there. Yeah. That's the first time I've been in like two, three years, man. Three, about three, four years, man. That's the last one left. See, I'm gonna show you. See, I watched some of, I watched some of your videos. I got you guys down over here. Yeah. I got a, a lot of great videos. Yeah. That's all that I. That's what we learned from. Really? Great videos. So, yeah. but um, uh, you just see certain things, man. It's changed me. Real talk. That's why that's why you call being reborn. Yeah, exactly. I love it. It's totally yeah. It's real. That's it the thing real. though, but it's, it's real. Like when you come out here, like I said, I've been out here and I just see people they don't they don't realize what's about to happen. Like they don't see what's going on. Nah, uh, it's gone. It's gone or the zombies. That's the walking dead. That's that's, that's why is it, at, uh, this is the uh, 30, 37 chest. Romans 13 and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now our salvation is nearer than when we believe. Right, every people out of sleep, they still celebrate damn Halloween. They call themselves Christians, Bible believers, but they dress them like demons or witches. That's bugged out. When you really look at it, that's bugged out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Scripture said it's high time. Here, the whole world is prepared for death and destruction. Yeah. But these fools. Are oh, you see Putin? Yeah. He said has the eagle eating all the olives. You right, hear him say right, that? Right. 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 Putin just met with John Bolton, okay. and they they were sitting there, uh, like pretty much. It looked like a, a pre-fight uh, 
press conference. You know how, like, uh, that's what it is. What's your boy, the uh, uh, college, the uh, USC player? What's that Iron Man? I don't forgot his damn name, bro. Oh. Uh, yeah, Conor McGregor. You know how Conor McGregor is somebody, they talking shit before a fight. Yeah. That, that's what Putin and John Ball was doing. And Putin made a statement. He said, the eagle is American symbol. And he asked John Ball, and he said, has the eagle eaten all the olives? Because you look on the back of a dollar, the eagle's holding the uh, arrows in one hand and the olive branch in the other. It's peace. Yeah, because the olive represents peace. So he, he said, did the eagle, eagle eat all the olives? He said, y'all just want war. How are we going to give you war? He said, uh, he said, Russia is preparing for war. He said, America is preparing a war. Yeah, yeah. That's what he said. And they know it. And Prude also made the statement that if you know you're about to get in a fight, when you punch first, yeah, yeah. you know? So the scriptures go into how Russia is going to come back to their natural heritage, that, that warrior-like mentality, you know? That's that bear. The script, let me just get it. What's that, Ezekiel 38? Yeah. That's funny, I just told you, when you quoted Ezekiel 37 and See that? It's uh, Ephesians 5 and uh, 16. It's like a 15, it says, uh, See then that you walk uh, circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Ooh. As fools. As what? fools. As fools. You, hey, you want you want to buy a Don? Hey, you want to get high, man? That's fools, you know? Man. Hey, I'll show hey, you. Hey, <laughs> you want to go to the Buckeye game? That's fools. Uh, we's out here passing out sandwiches or something. We have all kind of people up here. That's fools. Right. You know, but hey, we's passing out money. They come and take the money. If, if we had gave him the option, be like, I'm gonna give you five dollars or a scripture. Just five dollars. It's not twenty dollars. Just five dollars. They take the five dollars over a scripture. You know what I mean? I guarantee it. Uh, I, they, these people, they gone. What's that scripture say? They gone. Gone. Look at that scripture. They have revolted and gone. Yeah, they revolted and gone. They are yeah. anti. The how much him? The how much shot? Ain't good. Little. <laughs> they are, man. They hate the Lord, man. Well, I'm, come on, man. Matt, put this, visualize this. When they crucified the Lord, our people was crucify him. They, they, they saw the miracles. They witnessed. They saw the, them do the good works. Right. And they crucify him. Crucify him. They said we have no king to Caesar. Our people, crucify him. That's like, these are the children of those. Those, That's them. Those, those rats and you roaches. Know, what I told my mom, I told her, I was like, look at it like this. And this is what we'll get. I thought about it. How can, how can I get salvation for my oppression? Get salvation for your oppression? How can I receive, like, that I'm going to get everything if I go to so far Jesus? Right, right, right. That have been the same time enslaved all of them. Right. But I'm supposed to oh, that's a kind of, just a question you had with but your mom. Right, yeah, right. I had it with my mom. Right. You can't have both. Right. Right. You can't have both. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I do even more digging and stuff like that, you know, that music as a gator bait. I win. I look up everything, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They so, even got a show with these motherfucking jakes. Hunting games. Okay. And, 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 and using their skin, you know? Yeah. Selling it off. That's good yeah, for like what was it? Like the. It's still on the map. The, the leather, not the leather, but the, uh, the skin of the. They the even. Like right, they even eat the meat and sell the meat. I had gator meat. I tried it one time. Oh. Yeah, about, about 18, 19 years ago. And, you know? This is when the Mongolian it's, restaurant first got here. Mongolian? Yeah, right, right. It's <laughs> some heathen shit. Yeah, that's that. Yeah. Check it out. This is when it first red got flag here. Right you know how a nigga like, oh man, that's something new. Yeah. It's, it's foreign. Right. Oh man, I got to do that. But I dealt with my mom and dad. Like, here's some gator meat. came from the Mongolian. My mom, I'm like, oh shit. I was watching this documentary. So, they showing the Mongolian. It was good. Yeah. They but it's only clean though. It's awful. They showing the Mongolians one of their biggest dishes is a yak penis. Oh, what the? They don't look at this long, they put it on a hot dog bun. Uh, I'm not making that up. Oh, I know you ain't making that up. You need this for a whole different level, man. Right. A whole different level. Oh, you want to read the scripture. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead. I love hearing the word now. Well, we read scriptures. Okay, all right. This is the one you put. You said, uh, looking for a so-called white man to help. He's the one who puts the pressure. Yeah. It says, uh, look, I mean, not look, limitations. 
uh, 4 and 17, it says, As for us, our eyes are yet failed for our vain help. And our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. They going to the devil to ask the devil to fix the problem that he caused. Right. <laughs> like voting. They, they actually think voting going to change something. I remember. Oh, that's just a. No, because why are you voting for your, your oppressor again? Which you agreeing with his system? Right. There you go. You know what I mean? This is my first year, and I told my mom I'm not coming to Thanksgiving. I'm not going to <laughs> you know, Christmas. No, for real. I even changed. You can go. I don't even. Well, you can go. You just ain't got to agree with that. Yeah, you ain't got to. Hey, and Paul, like, Paul wanted it today. He said about eat meat yeah. sacrifice to the uh, mm -hmm. partner. You know what I'm saying? But that's the thing, man. Like, for real. For real. Like, I don't eat pork no more. It's good. Definitely don't eat that. None of that stuff. None of that stuff. and stuff. That's the reason. I usually never have that. But I know I'm supposed to have a beer. That's the reason yeah. why I'm doing all this. And why? Because I know it's against the most high. I'm supposed to have a beer. Don't answer it up. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's what I'm letting it off. We're about to cute. We're about them women. Oh, oh you cute. You know what I'm saying? So, because normally, like I said, I don't wear it there. So, but it's just. Yeah, like, like the whole Thanksgiving thing. And Christmas is demonic as all hell. You know what yeah. I mean? All these holidays are demonic. But at the same time, I, I, I would avoid that shit too, but. It is not wrong with going and having a meal with your family, you know what I mean? As long as in your mind you know this is when you bullshit. Know, when you know the history, the right. Thing. And if you can, you can score them, but they're not going to listen. Right. You know? You can try to score them, like, sometimes you got to do a sub to it, you know? Hit them a little, hit them a little shit here and there. Don't get it. Yeah. Gradually do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, Especially the woman. Yeah, the woman, you can't tell her nothing. Right. Here you go, John 3 and 5. Your how shall I answer? Fairly, fairly. I say unto thee, except a man be born again, born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of the most high. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto thee, he must be born again. Waking up to all the wisdom yeah. the truth. And not just anybody. That's the thing that come, a lot of people come up to us. And they accept in everything, don't they? They, they accept in Islam, uh, uh, Buddha. You know, they accept in all the religions. Right. And thinking they got the truth. You got to cast off all that other madness and just hang on to the truth. And all them other shit's all accepted, too. You yeah. see people, they, they, if you tell somebody a Hindu, they're like, oh, really? Tell me more about it. Right. You used to tell, if you're a Buddhist, they're like, oh, that's so interesting. You're so cool. Right. What's, you the tell me, huh? What's that scripture that says, uh, Made it. Let me just get the book of Isaiah. We're talking about fate. We're talking about the book. The yeah. Book. Oh, yeah. Isaiah, Isaiah 34. It says, yeah. People accept anything unless you tell them you believe in that Bible. They're like, oh, that's some that's bullshit. True. That's true. They'll be like, that's bullshit. They'll get mad. You know? That's true. They'll get mad. That's very true. Hey, they'll start attacking you. Like, yeah, why you believe in that bullshit? Isaiah 35 and 16. They're ready to fight you. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord, not the book of the dead or any other the Quran. And it says, and read, no one of these shall fail. None shall want for me. For my mouth it had commanded his spirit. Had gathered. Yep, you can't make the, the scripture with nothing. You know, you learn the truth, you're gonna learn how to, to cast off a cycle of truth and bullshit. You know? Right. Now there's a, cause I was looking at going to the classes there's this plant, I think, who did I miss it? It was one of y'all that I talked to on YouTube. There was a guy, I was at the gas station. Yeah. You know, it was a couple weeks back. And he was out in my area, because I live, I live near like me and James area. Okay. So he was telling me that they have like classes and stuff. So, oh, um, for how you want to see somebody. <laughs> you stay yeah, away from that. But I do want to go, because I do want to get more oh, of the yeah. word and stuff like that. But where you gonna get it? I don't want to, the false the prophets, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to receive the full truth there. What was it? Yeah. You know their names? Uh, did they have a garment on, a red one, or they were like a purple one? They were like beige. Okay. Or you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 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 You know what I'm talking about? They don't got because the, the class was going to be over there, uh, the Metropolitan over there on Livingston. Right, right. right. You know what I'm talking about? Library? That's why I was last Yeah, the library. Yeah, yeah. That's why I was last ran into Prozzin's boys, Nick Prozzin was there, but he was in Mexico. Where his boys uh, at? Right there. 
Okay, so, so you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, okay. nah, you ain't gonna receive none of the truth there. Okay. None. That none. made it, that bug it. Right. If it's, if it's Peraza we talking about, woo wee. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna say is, wow. I, they teach know, the virgin birth. Well, where do we begin on virgin birth is not scriptural. Okay. okay. It goes to hell, it'll tell you to go hell. to hell. That's right, that's It'll tell you to, uh, that's right. That's right. You ask him, he say Esau can be saved, don't That's you? right, that's right. Yeah. He'll say, yeah. man, that's just crazy, bro. Yeah. Bugged out. But that's the thing, though. I don't want to listen to my false prophets, but I do want to go to the classes to learn more, you know what I'm saying? All I can say is you, you know, ain't going to learn. so much in, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? And get that first you know what I mean? I get it. You know what I'm saying? You know the truth right here. I'm going to show you something. Man, man really, I, home, man. I'm going to say is you can't go wrong with oh, GMS. I got you. Okay. Like anybody else, like there's a reason. GMS is out there like that because right. that's the real teachers. Y'all want to not mess with I anybody. To, uh, this gonna cut that building, that church shit. Right here. I want to not mess with nobody. This is seven and forty-eight. Acts seven and forty-eight. How be it? The Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands. That's the scripture. So <laughs> you go there, they gonna they gonna they gonna get your social security sorry. number, birthday. Oh, yeah, we, yeah. You know what no. I'm saying? Uh, you know. And that guy, what's that? Uh, what's his name? Guy from, uh, was it UIC? Yeah. He, the cop. Oh, he, the detective. He's a detective. He's a detective. Okay. All right. Well, he was. Did yeah. he retire? Yeah, he's a retired. I guy. knew something. He, still, he, still, he can I still go back, though. His things, oh, don't do this set up, bro. Okay, because I saw a few of his things in right. his videos, right. but it just didn't seem right. Yeah, that's his spirit. That's his spirit. You know, when you're a retired detective, you're still a detective. You can, he can yeah. always go back. Shit, that's Denzel you know, Washington. Either, right you don't. When you protect if your seniority is always it's there. It's just something. Oh yeah. It, it, you don't, right. it don't go. I no, guarantee I mean, he's part of the Fraternal Order of Police. Yeah, of course, he's a detective. Yeah. <laughs> you know what Fraternal Order of the Police is? That's pretty much Freemasonry for cops. That's right. It's an actual frater uh, fraternal. That's right here. There's one down here on uh, is Brother that Front Hood. Street or Main Street or Rich? Brother it's Hood. over here somewhere. Brotherhood. It's a. Uh, Acts uh, 20 and uh, uh, 27, it says, For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of God. Like the brother said, we going to give you the 100% truth. Not whoever you know, gave you that information. You know what I'm saying? It says, you can't choose. They'll give you a little something. Don't go, don't go off on key points. Right. Like a key point, they all go off on is the mark of the beast. They'll tell you, oh, mark of the beast is a sin. Right? Oh, that's a, but the Lord's came to forgive us of our sins. That don't make no sense. You know what I mean? That's a key. A lot of them, a lot of them set up, a lot of them got a 501 th uh, C3 charter. Yeah. You know about that, right? Yeah. IUIC definitely got it. So they're not allowed to teach about the market to be. Right. Just like a lot of these churches, like they'll go in to certain scriptures, but they won't go all the way in. Yeah. Yeah. They, can't. They, can't, they, they sign a deal with the devil. There's right. a scripture in Deuteronomy says, make no covenants with your enemy. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It says, take heed therefore unto yourselves to all the flock over which the Holy Spirit hath made you overseers to, for, uh, to feed the church of God which he hath purchased with his own blood. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking for perverse things, to draw away disciples oh, unto them. Yeah, come on, them niggas is, uh, they pomonites. You know what I mean? They, they faith-based Israelites. Yeah, they make fun of us. They call us faith-based Israelites. Yeah. Because we, we teach that you get faith saved by your faith. But that, see, that key, that's a key thing right there. We see IUIC on the streets right over here. Mm -hmm. What about some months ago, a year ago? So. Brother right here asked them, how do we get saved? They said by keeping the commandments. That's not how you get saved. You get saved by your faith. But you got to keep the commandments. Let me ask you a question. When the dude was on a cross, the Lord's on the cross with two malefactors. One of those men believed it, believed on the Lord. They asked him, uh, hey, you can get that scripture. You know, it don't matter. You know that what I'm talking about. And he said, today you're gonna be in paradise with me. So what law did he keep? He was getting killed for breaking the law. You know what I'm saying? I mean, obviously we gotta keep the law. We ain't need no pork to do no foul shit. But you, you get saved to the best of your ability. The scriptures say whoever found in but that's a key thing, though, because the scriptures say whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. What's the name of the Lord? It, I mean, not, not by keeping the law. The law can't save you. Because ain't none of us, we're all guilty of death. 
We should all be put to death. But if you gonna look at the law, yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know, if you, if you don't keep the Sabbath one time, you gotta get put to death. That's what the law says. So we, should, that's just the, the, the law. Ain't no salvation in that law. There's nothing but death in that law. But well, obviously we gotta keep it though. But you know what the craziest thing is? Like, I, I even had to get rid of old friends. Huh? Now, oh, you got, you my got, old friends and stuff, yeah, they, they even go. told me, like, I had a few people tell me, like, oh, you're brainwashed now. <laughs> I said, you know what, yeah, I am My brainwashed. brain is clean. I'm brainwashed by the most high. Because oh. my, no, that's real, because a lot of people, like, on my weekends, I don't do that. I used to be, I tell people, I took myself out of the world. I'm pretty not much, in the world. That's yeah. what you pretty much got to do. Yeah. Unfortunately. Well, unfortunately. It's not, like, you can't say unfortunately, because this world is death. Yeah. It's the, it's the way of death. You know, yeah. in and out these clubs and bars and shit. How much violence to pop off in the bars and clubs? And how many diseases been transferred from one motherfucker to the next one? Man. Clubs and that's bars. At all you know time. That's at all times. Oh, right. So Satan dwelling, that's the, that's the house of Satan. Shit, half of America's got STDs. Right. According to that. <laughs> no, damn near half, according to the CDC. If you look at the, the Center of Disease and Control stats, yeah. it was something like over 150 million Americans got STDs. That's just on record that they got the stats from the clinics. A lot of people don't go to clinics. They just deal with it. Stinking ass, bro. You got to be careful out here. You open them legs and it's stink. That's a warning sign. That's that red light. That's a red light. That's an obvious red light. Shit. Uh, we had to go get one of them, 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 them new, uh... This is one spray. Is it off? Oh, shit. We'll call the health department. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you can do that. What? The bitch is going around burning my butt. You can call the health department. Tell me. Oh, really? You're supposed to do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're supposed to do that. Damn. But most people don't do that. Like, like, everybody too ashamed, man. <laughs> what are we looking for? Yeah, it's anyway, they got much liberty. They out there doing everything, doing what they want to do. Here we go, the spirit going back to them bitches. Man, the Lord's mad at these women, man. Yeah. He's mad oh, at yeah, these women, man. They don't read right. He's mad at them, man. Actually, they hate the Lord themselves. They hate the Lord. They the main so one. If somebody hates you, you ain't gonna hate them back. The woman's the main one to come against you, you know? Yeah. They're like, oh, that's evil, y'all. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. But, but like I said, the, Oh yeah, but definitely. So, but she's Esau's number one weapon. Yeah. The woman. Hey, just like in the Garden of Eden, the serpent went to the woman first to get to the man. Right. You know what I mean? That's how it works. Right. Same thing. The serpent's still here today, and right. he's still giving that fruit to the woman. And and she like hey, talking love that. Like, yeah, he brought this shit. And what's this? You got a scripture? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, bring that out. He got a scripture for you. Going back to that uh, thing we mentioned about faith, we're gonna prove it with the scripture. Hebrews four two. It's real, it is real important. This, you know what I mean? Salvation. It's like an IUI. That's why you can't deal with the mother group. They gonna teach. Them. They don't never teach faith. They say you, you, they're adamant about it. You get saved by keeping the commandments. That's crazy. That's fucked up. It says for to us with the gospel preach as well as to them. But the word preached did not profit them, uh, yeah, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Like, like, like you said, I should write this to us, I might as well just read it. Uh, Hebrews 11 and uh, 6 says, uh, without faith it's, in, it's, it's impossible to please him. Yeah. So, like, you got a story about King David. Everybody knows about King David slaying Goliath. Everybody was scared of shit. Uh, you know, he was the only one that was, at, he had the faith on one side. And okay. King David committed adultery. That's punishable by death. But the Lord have mercy on him. See? So, like I said, he, King David wasn't uh, known for his many acts because of what he did, but because he had faith on the side to do what he did. Sure. You know, so you gotta, you gotta have a mixture. You can't just work and that's it. You gotta have both together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, both together. Yeah. Is what faith from works. The biggest work, doing the work. One of my favorite chapters is Hebrews 11. Yeah. Bring it. That was my goal, though. Man, come on. Man, I'm, I'm just, I'm really glad to see you. I really am. <laughs> I really am. I know y'all probably don't even hear that very often. 
Yeah. You know. That most people like, I'm tired of seeing your motherfuckers that way. <laughs> it's just what you, I was so, like I said, I told my mom, and I didn't get all into it with the like, little things, but I would just be out there and you know, believe me, just look certain things up. And you start connecting the dots of things. Why are, why are things the way they are? You know what I'm saying? And we're here. So in order for it to reverse the curse, you have to understand why things, why it happens to them. People don't think about that. They think, oh, I need, I need a march, I need to do this. You got to know it. Follow the law of statue of the best way that I can so get off the hands. But you think that marching is in a circle, but no, it's not. We try to. We be cursing out the protest today. Man, we curse. How many groups we cursed out so far? We've been saying what? We, we, man, we got them good, bro. For the longest we all keep saying, can we all just get along and wish all of us were in our hands? <laughs> That's not going to work. <laughs> this is Galatians 3 and 9. So then they which be the faith are blessed with a faithful Abraham. For as many as are of the word, works of the law are under the curse. Yeah, say it works of the law is under the curse. For if you right. say by the law, what? if it's all based on the law, you got you to get put to death. Yeah. And I guarantee we got something for you. You did something wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. All of it. You know, if you had sex with a woman who's already had sex before, that's adultery. Punishable by death. And you're only supposed to get with a woman if she's a virgin. So if you get with a woman who's already been with another dude and had kids, that's really an abomination according to the law. You know what I'm saying? If her husband comes. Yeah, yeah. If her husband comes. And that's never what happens. The woman's always leaving. For it is written, Cursed is every one that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them, but that no man is justified by the law in the sight of the Most High. It is ever for the just shall live by faith. Yeah, the just, that's a perfect script. You know what I mean? That's what that IUIC, they, they make fun of. They actually ridicule us because we say that. Yeah, you're supposed to. Sex is marriage. Yeah, yeah, that's when you, you and her spirit become one. That's a uh, Matthew the 19th chapter. Galatians two and three one. It says, "I do not frustrate the grace of God, for righteousness come by the law, then the Messiah is dead in vain." Oh yeah. That's, that's plain right there. Follow the law, follow the law. Because I mean, Matthew 1 and 21 said, let me just look at that real quick. No shit, Sherlock. The devil got the system set up that you can't follow all the law. Like the clothing, it's mixed with fat. Huh? Right. You can't even get the days off when you got a job. You got to work on the Sabbath. Because you know when the Sabbath comes in, right? You know what the Sabbath is? So we're going to the Sabbath right what now. What you think? Sabbath is Sunday. Sunday on the Sabbath Sunday? Sabbath tonight. Who's the Sabbath? No, it's Sabbath. Yeah. Because it's, uh... Hold on, hold on, man. I've been doing my study. Hold on. I got it. Hold on. The Sabbath is Sabbath. It's actually tonight. Oh, it's tonight. 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 Right. But then seven days after that new moon is another Sabbath. Right. Because the new moon. So it's not just dependent on because I thought that it didn't go down my like time. It's still high ground, but yeah. the sun is gone. It's just getting dark. Yeah, like on a full moon. That's always right. going to be like the Sabbath in the middle of the month. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know? Like, 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 you know, the Passover is always on a full moon. Right. You look at the I'm not sure the sun said. The actual new moon timing, the time, the sun, it still be light out a little bit, you know? 
The new moon. What well, is the same thing? Well, you, you, the I said it's just backwards. The new moon is on the eighth. Uh, you said it right though. Oh, okay. The, the new moon is on the eighth, and then next month it will be on the sixth. Yeah, the sixth. I'm, try, I'm trying to follow, man. I don't know. I mean, you gotta do it to the best of your ability. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not trying to be perfect, but I want the most perfect. I want the most high. None of us, but I want the most high to know right. that I'm trying to get the life. Well, we're right. considered perfect if you're constantly yep. doing it. Yeah. Yeah. The Lord looking at you like you're perfect, though. Yeah. Strive right. for perfection, bro. Right. 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 Stealing. That's a big thing. People eat, overlook that one. Eat, but eat, eat, eat your damn out here. Uh -huh. I ain't taking my girls. I ain't taking no Buddha red lobster. Get no shrimp. No, 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 right. Some shrimp. Some shrimp. You can't eat that. That's an abomination. Right, right. Yeah, bottom feeder. That's crazy. The shrimp. I was telling them, like, I made my pork. That, I will admit, that was, for a little while, that was hard to get my pork. But I was like, you know what? Most high, you know, the slave master used to give us lobster. Yeah, lobster. That was shrimp. Because they knew it was down no shit. That's filthy. Right. It was considered filthy food. That was and inexpensive. That was a delicacy. Right, right. That's how they got these people. First psychology. Yeah. First psychology. Just like these diamonds. Everybody can't wait to go get a diamond. When you're in reality, a diamond is a useless fucking stone. And actually, according diamonds is actually a symbol of bad luck. Yes, if you do that. Do the research. Yeah. I could go deep and crazy. I don't need to do a video on this bugged out. That's what's up. I like your little different style. Right, right, That's called a, that's a living water. You know that's a living water. How you say? It's definitely versatile. That's right. Most like young. That's right. Versatile teacher. Right. It'd be water living. I was, I was just looking at the word fix. Yeah, but I go to diamonds, that's the thing. I was doing some research on diamonds, and so, whew, that, that's why it's, it's bad luck. That's why so many marriages, they can put that diamond ring on, and that's not in the scriptures. That's some paganism. That's what all the Norse pagans used to do. They get married, they put a uh, ring on their finger. Research I did on diamonds and found, I found out that it's going back to ancient times that diamond was used for industrial shit. Yeah, it's like building. Yeah, cutting. Cause it's cutting. It's a right. tool. Right. Exactly. It's, not, it's not like a exactly. jewel. Exactly. Like they like there's a lot of uh, there's a scripture in the Bible that says they use a pen of diamond. I think it's in Jeremiah. Cause they used to take the diamond pen and write in like copper scrolls and stuff. Way you ever, too hard. You used to be walking around and just stepping. Yeah, yeah. Just step they just still do. They used to be everywhere. In Africa, there's but diamonds they, they all, all, diamonds all over the place. Right. They gather them all. That, that's why That's why you go to the jewelry store, they're always trying to sell you those diamonds. And they're always trying to buy your gold. You know? Yeah, that's true. You look at a pawn shop, it's like, we buy gold and silver. They want your gold. They ain't trying to come up with that gold. That's true. And you know, the Lord said that's real money, is gold and silver. You got tell you the gold was good, that's what the Lord... Any precious metal. Yeah, precious metal. Okay. So how do y'all, I, I know it's going to bring up, how do y'all feel about what happened? Short door, short door. What's going on in Africa? Like, uh, trying to get people to come over there, trying to get all people to come over there. Well, let them go. They're going to just get destroyed over there. <laughs> I tell you. You're eating by some don't, cannibals. Don't trust that. Yeah, we can't stay here. You know what I'm saying? You can't trust that. There's something behind it. You ain't going to get none of these people to leave America. They love this you place. You can't trust money that. to leave America. Yeah, you ain't got no was, money. I say you can't trust that. That. You got yeah, some people trying to go back to Israel. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? People try to get a passport. I'll go back to the most. Huh? Yeah, we ain't supposed to leave here until them chairs deliver. I ain't going to no Africa. Go ahead. It's like that people try to say, you know, wisdom is in Africa. You go to Africa, you get enlightened. It's like that movie Belly. You seen Belly with Nas? No, I, oh, I, I got the, the air smoke. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta watch that movie. That was some funny shit. He's really a dumbass. Nah, he's gone. He really believed in that shit. He really did. 
I always thought he was overrated too. <laughs> but it's uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 11 says, For this commandment which I command thee this day, it is not hidden from thee, neither is it far off. It is not in heaven that thou shouldest say, Who shall go up for heaven? But who shall go up for us to heaven and bring it unto us? That we may hear it and do it. Neither is it beyond the sea that thou shouldest say, Who shall go up the sea for us and bring it unto us? I say, let's go, let's go to Africa. We gotta get wisdom or whatever. Let's go to Israel. Feel like, uh, what's, what's one of the Israelite groups? Uh, the old nigga, he said we should go to Israel. That's where we're gonna get spiritual powers and shit. And the Lord said it's not far. So, you know, the Lord's gonna give you that, that wisdom, knowledge, knowledge, understanding wherever you at. You know, that land's polluted. Yeah. Who yeah. yeah. was that that took the brothers over there and the women that and was took a, their passports? Oh, no, that was your boy, that Rakal from GOCC. Ooh, took, took the, the passports. Took the passports. Oh, passport. oh, that's why you gotta watch the brother groups. There's one dude, he said, he, he broke the scriptures down wrong. He said, oh, we got to go out to the wilderness. He's like, we got to leave Babylon before it get destroyed. And he got a, all these fools to go all the way to the middle. What they went to Egypt. Left their ass there. He said that. Where y'all church at? Right here. Church. Nope. That's your, temp your temple right here. Yeah, my body is my temple. That's right. That's why that's my body. Like, what are you doing? Like, right here. I mean, we, we all got houses. We live in, you know what I mean? I mean, we ain't got no building or nothing like that. Our building is, you know, it's right here. It's just a building. You gotta get out of here. I mean, we got YouTube channels. That's like a church. You know? Cause you know the temple of the Most High is not made with human hands. So, like you said, you're the temple. That's what the scriptures say. So the main thing you should come out. Actually, the word church, when you look it up in the Greek, it means a calling out, a gathering of people. Because in, in the New Testament, all the apostles and disciples was all teaching on the streets. They'd be out there teaching, teaching the word, cursing people out, whatever. And they get big crowds of people, you know, going. That's when the spirit gets popping. You get out here and start teaching. Yeah, with two. Yeah, two. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to. You know, we was commanded to teach on the streets. Oh, you know that. We commanded to teach every day. Oh yeah. Every day, you know everything. Every day is about this. Yeah, it should be. No, they were probably on the line. Because I was on YouTube a couple months ago, right? They're going to be different prophets and stuff. You know what they got to say? Out of the blue, I ran across them. Yeah, because, uh, yeah. Did he even know that they were here? Am I on here? I don't know if we've been out here too school. Going on. <laughs> next year, it'll be. Well, actually, we went up. It's like probably. next February, it'll be like 10 years. That's cool. I think the first time we actually came on the streets yeah. and taught here in Columbus. I think it was like February 2009. Was it 2009? And then I met you a little later. But it's been like 10 years. Which ain't really nothing. The elders, the brothers of GMS, like the elder so hard, he's been what, over 30 years? Teaching? I've been out every week on the streets. Every week. Same thing Dedicate his life to teaching. We came together, we, we've been pushing this truth man, every week. Because I've been watching some of you guys' videos. Because normally there's uh, two guys that I watch. One from South Carolina. Yeah, great South Carolina. Yeah. And then, um, this one. Uh, man, there's so many brothers out there teaching. Especially, it's mainly GMS camps. People with Great Millstone. We the ones that got all, all the people teaching all over the place. If you watch an IUIC video, it's yeah. just gonna be all street bells and whistles. Well, South, this, street, this is gonna be my Yes, street uh, teacher? Yes, yeah, South Carolina. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I know him. Well, I, I don't like know, I don't know him, no, I know. I watch a lot of his and- I'm not gonna call you with me. No. No, no, no. <laughs> no, what you got for I got a lot of good channels for you. You can drink. You know, uh, you know GMS Barkin Talk? The Elder? You know the Elder to Heart channel? Mark, uh, what is the mark 666? Type that in. That's the main videos you should be watching in his videos. No, you can drink that. You should watch his videos. You should watch his videos. I watch a lot of his videos. That's the name of the channel. You want to type some channels in right quick? Yeah, that's the name of the channel.
I'm sorry. 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 I
There you go. They, that's how they, they condition people. Seen it commercial. What I'm, you know what I'm talking about? I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it. Yet. So, but you were going towards each other. But I'm telling you, man, it was like this. It was like a light bulb went off in my head. Like, mm -hmm. and you saw his work and tour. Right. Hey, that's what you call a predictive program. Like he, yeah. Yeah. He's slowly going Just like with the homosexual thing, bro. The homosexual shit. They slowly, slowly, they do everything in small increments. They slowly acclimatize these people to different shit. They put a little bit here, a little bit there. Not, like, first there's just one homosexual on TV. Next, now there's two. Now, now all of a sudden everybody's transsexual freak weirdo. Now it's in the law, and now it's on the news that Congress just kind of has a law that gays can get married. Yeah, that's bugged yeah, out. That's crazy. Now they start arresting motherfuckers for beating down, beating the, beating the fast ass or the lesbian, killing the lesbian. Well, you know, now there was that that law they're trying to have, like, uh, Oh, right, they put that right. They're gonna do that small increment. Why? They watch. You are gonna see it. You know why, right? That's this is how they're gonna go with it. Like, mm -hmm. Well, you like the homosexuals, you know? That's just who they are. You know, this is who I am. So they're gonna probably try to put it under LGBTQZY. <laughs> <laughs> they already do. You they already got. Saying? They already no, got. But what I'm saying is, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like that's how they're gonna slowly they're try been to work. That's what they've been doing. They already got the LGBT. So, what's the LGBT? They need to add G in here for D. <laughs> that's yeah. shit, for real. As well, because there's motherfuckers that literally you know, identify themselves as What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, a lot of people don't even know about. They're trying to work on that now, but see, a lot of people they don't know that. A lot of people out here, they don't know that's what they're trying to do. They don't know and they'll be the first ones to accept it when it becomes mainstream, right. you know? Right. And we'll they whatever, the, yeah, the TV or whoever tells them to accept it, they're going to accept it. Yeah. All right, what you got? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, man. I know I'm talking Are you good? That's the spirit. They're going to get the first 18, bro. So we're out for 17. Right the first time I visited him. Right the first you walk with uh, him by crooked ways of being and bring fear and dread upon you and torment him with her discipline. Well, that's what's gonna happen when you first come to this too. It's uh like the, uh, the scripture says it's gonna be bitter, but it's also gonna be sweet. You know what I'm saying? It's sweet because you know you're like telling everybody that yeah, it's the bitter part because nobody's gonna listen. Nah. You're gonna you might lose your job, you might lose your woman, you know what I'm saying? Your life is gonna suck. <laughs> That's what wisdom's gonna do. Wisdom's gonna discipline you. You're gonna, you're gonna see, you're gonna start seeing shit that you wanna do, that you used to do in the world, but now you know the wisdom. The wisdom's like, oh, pull me back. Like, oh, shit, I can't do it no more. Your flesh is gonna keep burning, but your spirit's gonna have, you're gonna have a constant but war. you know what? It's crazy that you say that, because that's what I do with now. Because now I feel that I, my, I opened up my eyes of the truth and what, what is real now, what I've been taught for so long is a lie. So I feel now like I'm in the middle. Like I feel like I can't go over here because if I try to tell people, I'm gonna tell you. and then if I go over here, you know what I'm saying? And then I got people from my old life trying to come back in, try to push me back out, and I'm like, nah. But see, but that's that's the most high though, testing too. Because see, when you're doing right, that's when they try to come back in. So I know I'm going the right way because the most high is showing me. Yeah, it's all yeah. balanced. But you gotta deal with these assholes. You can get around my mom. She'll look at me, she'll be like, I don't like I said, the scripture says. Because I'm always talking about the most high. Right. But the scripture you know? says be wise as a serpent. Yeah. yeah. You know? Be wise, man. Just I talk just to my mom about crafts and whatever she's doing. Yeah. Crocheting yeah. and <laughs> Every once in a you know what, you can't get her too much. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's yeah, that guy's not good. Because you never know, down the line you might need somebody. Oh, yeah? But you done fucked up, like, curse them out. So if they ain't got it, just leave it alone. Yeah, you know? yeah. Just leave it alone. But man, just don't go around them. But it's period. But like I said, it's getting real out here. Like, even like the dollar, you know, all this stuff that's going on. And people don't realize, like, certain things, like, I don't know what it's going I can't wait. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad that, actually, I'm glad that they asleep, actually. That's the will of the most high. I'm all about the will of the most, after a while, you're going to start accepting. 
No, yeah, they just fuck with people over retarded, but oh well. That's the two thirds. You just gonna be like, oh well. That's the two thirds. But you, we we still gonna be teaching. Yeah. King David, sorry, Psalm 69, he said, don't let them wake up. Yeah, yeah. fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Because you know, because Jeremiah is really good for that. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he used to be praying for the people two thirds of all. Lord, please don't, you know what I'm saying? Right. And he even said that in Jeremiah 18. So I prayed for them, but now I wish that you killed them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, because they, 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 kill, they, they try to kill them multiple times. You know what I'm saying? They call them a sellout pretty much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I got a scripture for that. Uh, pray. I pray for them. I pray not. Is that John? Yeah, that's John. That's John. Uh, ooh, man, I had another scripture. That's a beautiful scripture. Yeah. That's a beautiful scripture. Man. Is that John 17 or 16? Who was them? Them was that elect that scripture told. That one third, that one third is a mighty number. That's going to get delivered. That's a mighty number. Ooh, us, man. But that two fire. third is even bigger number. Right. <laughs> man, that whole John yeah. 17 is get straight used to fire. Death, man, because really? one day we're going to wake up, you're going to see nothing but death constantly. You know, I can't wait to move because the Lord gonna give us men power to execute judgment, right? We're gonna be walking up on people with power, man, that's gonna be committing acts of cannibalism, man. You know what I'm saying? Can you imagine people eating their babies on a rotisserie? Man? But no one's really that's the thing though, like no one realized like really what's about to happen. You know what I'm saying? That's right. good, that's good like, though. Like, they gonna they gonna get they gonna get they gonna get sideswiped. Day of visitation. Day of visitation. That's what I'm saying though, but even like the women out here, like some of the women out here being a whore and you know, Oh, yeah, you about to be giving it up. They don't want to give it up. Shit, they they trying to be the new currency. When the dollar collapses, the woman gonna be the new dollar. When the destruction comes and everything, they gonna get traded for a barrel of oil. It's gonna be yeah. It's gonna be a whole. What verse is that? Hey, let me get a scripture though. Okay, go ahead. Let me get. Let me read this for you. Uh, John 17 and uh, that one lost. John 17 and nine. I pray for them, talking about the elect, yeah. not everybody. That's right. I pray for them, I pray not for the world, That's right. but for them which thou hast given me, for they are dying. So the Lord, he, he was only praying for the elect. You That's just very small thing. You think he's going to be praying for somebody that day, he's going to survive by any means necessary? Hell no. He's going to pray for the people that chose Barabbas. Right. You know about Barabbas, right? Absolutely. When the Lord was crucified, Pontius Pilate came out and said, uh, we have a tradition I think because it was the Passover, we can let one of these guys go. We got Barabbas was like a thief and a murderer, and then they had the Lord. That's right. And they chose to set Barabbas free instead of the Lord. A murderer and a thief. Now, what happens when uh, one of these motherfucking movie stars, or, like for example, remember um, that, that dude that was fighting on the streets who went eventually went to the MMA? He, who dropped oh, yeah, uh, Kimbo Slice. Remember how people was mourning when he yeah. died, man? People don't even, real, don't even recognize what a wicked motherfucker is, man. Nah. The world don't even see a wicked man. You know what I'm saying? They don't even see it, man. They'd be happy if we got shot or something. Hell yeah. And hey, hey, let me skip up to this script. John 17 to 14. Now check this out. Now this is something you really got to understand. John 17 to 14. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them. Give me guess. He has given them the word through the men of the Lord. Yeah. I have <laughs> given them thy word, and the world have hated them because they are not of the world, even the as I am not of the world. You don't tell the Lord. You know what I mean? You can't give us them to teach us the truth. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. The Lord put us out here. Whether <laughs> you like how we look, 